Alright folks, how you doing? Um, just got back from watching Rogue One again. It was awesome. I loved it more the second time around. Um, but anyway, uh, just a quick update on my um, Thermal Tech P3 build. Um, yeah, a couple of things. So, there. previously I said there was a... Um, whoop, come on. There was an issue with the... Um, the 980 sagging. Now there is a support riser they call it, but it doesn't fit properly, so I've had to file it down. Basically, you see this. Sorry, see this um black bar, that shiny bar. Um, that's screwed onto the um the ex uh, expansion slot cable. There, as you can see, this. Um, there you go. There's a there's a screw there and a screw there um, but it didn't fit so I had to literally take the um, take a, a Dremel and sand it down now you probably can't see it but see the shiny bit just on the lip of the riser I've done a hash job of it but I've filed it down a little bit to make that fit so that was a proper ball ache and, and I recently um, thanks to overclockers I've got a new uh, whole batch of these these are I'm sure the XSPC fittings, I'm sure they are. Uh, but yeah, um, I love these. These are the ones I always go for. Because um, they're a bit bling. Um, they're quite cheap, relatively cheap anyway. They're about £3.50 each. Uh, which is cheap you know, compared to the other ones. Uh, but more, most importantly, I know you can't see it. So, um, it's very grippy. So that means you can you can actually screw it on with sufficient force and sufficient grip uh, when you're tightening it up onto the um, onto the onto the tubes. Um, it's coming along, it's coming along, it's getting there. I'm very pleased with it so far. I'm not keen on this tube. What on earth was I thinking there? Damn it. Um, a new addition is this um, like a it's like a T uh, tube connector. So in, in and I've got like a double jointed connector in there. So one of these. So I've got one it's there. Yeah, got one of these in there. So that that connects to that, hooks up to that, and then there's a little hole, a um, little um, cap there, so the rest of it can go down to the pump. Now I put that there just so that when I bleed it, um, I can let the trap air escape from the top of there. I haven't tried it yet. Um, that's something to, to see if it works. But last time it was, you know, difficult to get out, as they say. Uh, but yeah, it's coming along. Um, I haven't switched the thing on yet. Had a had a slight emergency earlier in the day when um, I was um, dismantling the loop, um, the, but there was some water left in the in the rad. This idiot, such a noob thing. So water left, and I and I was kind of looking at it, tipping around, and some of it fell near to the PSU, near the PSU. What do you think, guys? Um, I still still not happy. Well, I'm not that I'm unhappy, but it's a bit noisy. Can you hear that? Yeah. So it's not silent. So I'm hoping that when I plug it into the um. PWMs or the fan connectors on the motherboard, I'll slow it down sufficiently because it doesn't need to go full pelt. It's only going through um, a block and a rad, so it's not going through any GPUs and all that kind of stuff at the moment. But yeah, okay, mate. Okay, mate. Mate. Sorry, guys. 